All right, I'm just going to make a quick little video here showing how to turn your sketches into a prototype. And we're just going to do this by stages. So stage one, you're either going to scan in this page or you're going to take a picture of it. And since I was feeling lazy, I just took a picture. Okay, then I opened it up. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is, and you might want to write down these numbers, you're going to make a new screen. So, I'm going to jump over here. Uh, new screen, and um, my width is 900, and my height is 585. Um, resolution really can be anything. Um, I was goofing around with my photographs, so I got to use 210, I think. Um, but when you export these, they're all going to turn to 72, but they're going to maintain the width and height in pixels, but the resolution will drop to 72. So <clears throat> uh, that doesn't quite look right. <laughs> I'm like, well, what's the canvas size? No, I said 585. Okay. Then I go to my page and I grab one of these squares and I copy it. Come over here. I paste it. Um, obviously, I'm going to use Command T, free transform. Free transform will help me straighten up my crooked uh, rectangles due to the uh, photography there and the angle of the photography. And then, you know, I may want to straighten up my. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, you know, you may want to take this and you know, get it to the right spot, <laughs> maybe. Uh, something like that. There we go. <clears throat> you know, just grabbing the brush tool, brushing on that layer. Okay, merging these two down. Okay, so that's how I got my rectangle from the photograph over to the correct dimension screen. Now, and I cleaned it up a bit, now the next stage is getting it to a JPEG that will work easily within Vision. I suggest you use Command Option Shift S, otherwise known as File Export Save for Web Legacy. That's Command Option Shift S. <clears throat> okay, here um, I would just use high as your resolution. And again, it's maintaining this size 900, 585. That's awesome. And we go save. At this point, you need a spot to put your screens, and you need to never move that. Well, okay. I suggest you just. Keep it in the same space. It would be easier for you if you just kept it in the same place. Um, I made one on the desktop, and I called it InVision Screens. Okay, so I think I'm going to change all mine to. So this is the loading screen, you know, uh, because I already have one because I've already started this. Um, you know, I have two now. <laughs> and there we go. I, I have my screen. Now, I'm going to show you the, the file I've been messing around with earlier. Um, I've got these four done. I'm down to this one right now. So let me grab this one, and I'll show you all my layers and what I've been up to. So I'm grabbing this one down here, copying that. <clears throat> okay, so one thing that could um, speed up this process, if you look at my layers, is... Um, I pulled, I only drew the, um, the icons once. <laughs> and then I just pulled it as a separate layer and I just put it above everything that I need. Well, I should merge these two. <clears throat> no, I didn't merge this one. And, um, you know, there I have all the stuff. Well, it's never going to be on that one. But now I can paste in my new rectangle, 
and I can move it over and maybe hide this just for a second. And that would save you a little time with sketching. You don't have to draw the icons over and over again. Just draw them once. This was a very distorted rectangle, so give me a second to fix that. <coughs> okay. And I'll turn that on. And now I'm just going to move it over slightly. And I'll erase this line. Okay, there we go. Um, so that will work. Okay, the next thing I want to tell you as you make these screens, and I'm suggesting working with one file with multiple layers in Photoshop, okay, two because of your original scan or a photograph, and the second one, this, your image that's 900 by 558. <clears throat> you just build it in layers, and then all the screens are the same, and the navigation is not going to jiggle around or anything if you uh, do it with this uh, approach that I'm teaching you here. Okay, the next thing I want you to do as you export for Web Legacy, Command Option Shift S, that you name these very carefully. And um, I'm going to show you why that naming is going to be very helpful later on. Okay. So um, I guess that's, I wanted to make this in a series. So basically that's how I use Photoshop to take my sketches and make it into JPEGs. So there, I'll, I'll stop this one here and I'll make another video for um, moving to Envision.